and welcome back to our creative videos. Today we are going to do another uh, issue of our tool schools. And this particular issue is going to be all about measuring. So we're going to start with tools that you would measure, uh, seams, hems, that kind of thing, and the new and inov innovative things that they have. So Pam, if you want to kind of go down to the table here, and we'll take a look at some basic uh, measurement tools. So everybody is familiar with a tape measure, but oftentimes if you're trying to measure yourself, so you want to take your bust measurement, your waist measurement, your hip measurement, and there's not a person around to kind of get everything organized for you, this is a new device called a body tape measure. Now, I am not going to measure my waist in front of you ladies. You can use my wrist again. <laughs> well, that's all right. We could do this because it's for yourself. So what happens with a tape measure, uh, body tape measure, is you take your tape measure. Here's the end, like your normal tape measure. Nothing exotic here. But it has a little And you place post. it into a socket. So if I needed the measurement of my wrist... Uh, I can come in, I can place it, and then I'm just going to press the button. There's a button on, on the side. The and it's going to bring it Look in. Look at that. And so now I can take my tape, I can take my measurement. So boom, I've got that. I can flip it around. My wrist is six and a half inches. Woo so press the button again and you can escape. Okay. And you can take this piece out. That's so clever. So wrap it around your body, tuck it in the socket. Press the button tight, and you're going to have your measurement all by your lonesome. That's clever, actually. It is, it is very clever. All right, so that is the body tape measure. Our next one is a measuring gauge. And so oftentimes, you'll have in a pattern where it talks about doing, oh, you need a three-eighths of an inch seam for this, and you need a quarter of an inch seam for that, and a five-eighths seam for this, and maybe a one-inch hem, and that kind of thing. And you really just need something to mark. So if we're coming in and we want to do a uh, one-inch hem, we can come in, and you will see that you can set it up on a variety of uh, settings. So if we come into here, this is going to be a one and a half inch going to the edge, going like this. If you wanted a half inch seam, so you were measuring from the half, there's your mark for your half inch. If you wanted a three eighths of an inch seam, you've got oh. that going on there. Uh, if you wanted a quarter inch seam, you've got that going like that. So in this measurement, there are, let's get, let's count them up here, Pam. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. All right. So I'm going to say ten different measurements on it. And it's just on this tiny little piece and it has like a little hole on it. So I was thinking that maybe I might thread a, a keychain through there. Here and so I can keep it with some of my other tools. Uh, a lot of your tools um, will have like little openings at the top, you know, a lot of your um, seam rippers and that kind of thing. So I could just stick it to that and uh, keychain it to that. Or you can make it longer and make a necklace out of it. Well, yes, we could do that too. Just thread a cord through there, you'd be all set. All right, so that is the measuring gauge. The next measuring gauge is what they call a five-in-one measuring gauge. And if you're familiar with a standard measuring gauge where it's silver and it's got the little red slidey thing, mm -hmm. you know that uh, after a period of time, the slidey thing is no longer stiff. Mm -hmm. It gets really loose and it's hard to kind of maintain the measurement. So this five-in-one tool is really a beefed up, a uh, better quality seam gauge. And so if we want to take and move, we simply push down on the button and we can maneuver our seam gauge. So if I want a half inch seam, I can come in, I line it up along the edge, the inner part of that green marking there is going to be my half inch. If I'm coming to do a one inch hem, I can go ahead, I can line that up, and here's the kind of cool thing, is you can slide 
the hem into the gauge. So I just need to wiggle this just a little bit. There we go. So we can come in and we can position our one inch gauge and then we can slide it along nice. going like that. Now, that's what I have always used this gauge for. However, looking at the packaging, um, there are some other cool things. So let's say that we need to draw a two inch circle. So do you see in the middle of that green, there's a little dot? Yep. All right, so I'm gonna position that right where my um, two inch uh, mark is. So I'm gonna take it over to my ironing board or my pressing area. We're gonna line it up. And I didn't bring a pen, so I'm gonna disappear for two seconds. And so what we can do is we can pin the end in and we're going to take it and we're going to draw around and let me do it the opposite way because i think this pen is not long enough nope not going to happen all right let me get a pencil and so we'll come in and we can draw our circle or our arc at whatever dimension we would like. So there's a two inch one. If we push it and we go to say a four inch one, then we can Isn't come in clever? and do there. So it's essentially a compass. Mm -hmm. And honestly, until I looked at the packaging, I'm like, I didn't know that. How cool is that? I've used this gauge for years. Um, just being kind of a nice, kind of better quality seam gauge. All right, so that is the five in one gauge. Now our next design tool is really for those uh, people who are doing uh, hooped embroidery with their machine. This is called a design ruler. And when you look at it, you go, but the numbers aren't right. <laughs> so you'll see that there is a centering hole starting at zero and then the measurements will go out to three over here and then it'll come in and it'll go out to three over here. So it's not going from zero to six. It'll slip if you do the bottom. Mm -hmm. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come in. Yes, it does have it on the other side. So what you're gonna That's do is clever. you're gonna come in. And so let's say, I think this is about a five inch block. So easy math is that we are going to be doing a uh, two and a half inch. So we'll drop our, uh, our uh, pencil. What is it called? <laughs> Pam, what is it called? <laughs> we'll drop our pencil in there. And I just drew a little line and then I'm gonna flip it around and I'm gonna line up on the two and a half going this direction. And so I'll just make my quick mark. And there is our X. And then at that point, I like my X's to be better, bigger when I put them in my hoop. So what I just use it is I would do it as a straight edge at that point. And so we would come in and we can draw our X. Nice. But just a very cool thing. You don't even have to do the math. You can just kind of wiggle it in the center and keep moving back and forth. Until the so numbers long are the as, same. Yes, until the <laughs> numbers are the same. So if it's like two and three eighths or mm -hmm. that kind of thing, something where I don't want to do the math. Sure. Um, super, super cool. Nice. So that is called the design ruler. Okay, doc. So the last one in the kind of just measuring things is one that most people are familiar with. This is a point turner and button gauge. So the point turner part, everybody gets. So you've got this pointy piece, you flipped your pillow around and you need to poke the, the corner out. The desire is to grab anything on your sewing table. And so with this, uh, if you do this, you pop it in and you're not going to pop the corner out. If I grab my seam ripper, if I grab my um, scissors, I'm going to have a problem because I'll po poke out the corner on there. So this is sharp, but not so sharp that it's going to poke the corner out. 
So that's really cool. Um, and it's what I use it for most of the time. The other cool thing that it has is it does have measurements and it has measurements on inches on this side and it has centimeters on this side. So sometimes you need just a quick conversion, you know, you're looking at embroidery and it says it's gonna be, you know, five centimeters and it's like, what is that? Um, and so we can figure that out really easily. Five centimeters is roughly two inches. Got it. The other thing that I have not used this for um, that I thought was really cool is that it is a button gauge. Now, the reason why I have not used this often is because I rarely sew my buttons on by hand. Okay, I usually sew them on by machine. However, oftentimes when you're doing a coat button, you need that thread shank so yeah. that the button will uh, stand off of the fabric yep. and that way it'll go into the buttonhole much easier. And so what the button gauge is for is you simply place your button. So you see how the two holes are here. So you want the two holes to be in the slot here so that we can send the, the needle down. So if we want to have the button raised just a little bit, so about an eighth of an inch, then you'll see that the end with the point has actually been grooved out so that that's about an eighth of an inch. And that will create, as we're stitching the button on, that will create that slack. Now, if we go to the other end of the ruler, now we have a little bit larger. I wouldn't say a quarter, but definitely a healthier eighth of an inch. And so once again, we're gonna put those uh, holes facing along the slot, and then we're gonna go ahead and stitch, and now we're gonna have a, a higher button. So if I pop it like this, Pam, can you see the mm -hmm. thickness there? And then if we go like that, can you see how that's small, considerably yeah. smaller? All right. That's cool. So for hand sewing on those coat buttons, and by the way, we have a thread in the store here um, that is called Cordonnet thread, um, which is fabulous for sewing coat buttons on. If you've ever had those buttons that just seem to saw through your thread, uh, it's a fabulous thread to do that. And it does have to be run by hand, so that is a hand kind of thing. <laughs> Hi. Hi. All right, last thing in the measuring uh, device. Got it. So these were all kind of linear, okay? This one here, this is called a Simflex, and a Simflex is for spacing. So if you need to do a bunch of tucks, you could take the Simflex, and let's say that this, you're gonna have your first tuck here, and you're gonna have your last tuck here. And you have decided that you want to have four tucks. So we can come in and we can line it up so we stretch the Simflex out until we have the top one and the bottom one going right there. And then boom, boom, that tells you where you're gonna put your other ones. What's cool is if you decide midway through that you're like, mm, now I think four is, is too little. I think I need five. So I can go ahead, one, two, three, four, five, and then boom, 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 we've got the measurements for our tuck. So it's super, super fast with no math. Now, the other cool thing is if you are doing something, and I will have you swing over here, Pam, with buttons. So how often do you have a, a blouse pattern that it says that you need like four three-quarter inch buttons? And you're <laughs> like, but I've got six half-inch buttons, which are fabulous, and I want to use those. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the measurement of the pattern. They'll give you a top button mark and then a bottom button mark. And what you'll do is you'll count them out. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you'll position those on the top and the bottom, and there's your markings for the other buttons. Yeah, I use that all the okay. time. Okay, if you had five, you would just slide it up, you know, back and forth going along. Cool. But super, super cool device. Everybody needs a Simflex in their life. All right. Now, shall we do the shall we do the iron-on one next, and then we'll do seam, seam gauges here? So... This is a hot press 
gauge. Cool. And you will see, sure. I'm sorry, can we get it positioned? Yep. Perfect. All right. So you will see there's all kinds of measurements. So we've got measurements going from this corner, starting uh, from one going up towards four. We've got from this corner, it'll go all the way to six and, by, you know, going all the way around. But what's cool about this is that it's designed that you can iron on top of it. So if you want a one inch hem, you are going to line this up so that the raw edge of your uh, hem is going to be right at the one inch line. Clever. You're then just going to tap this until the guide goes down to the fold. And then you're going to take your iron and you're just going to press. And so we'll give that a press. We then just let it go we move it to the next and it is the most accurate way of pressing up a hem does the template get hot um it doesn't it's okay. it's warm i mean mm. but it's not hot to touch you could you could go ahead and do cool. that the other cool thing that is on there is it has a curve to it as well so if you're doing something like a patch pocket maybe mm -hmm. for a blazer or whatnot we can come in, I'm gonna set this at about like a half an inch away. And so we can come in and we can pull around that round curve. And I'm sorry, Pam, I don't know where to get my hands to. Uh, how about I, if I tip that, is that better? Yeah. Okay, and so we'll go in and we'll press that and then we'll come over to the side here and we will press our curve. So let me pull that out and we'll flip it over and you can see what a beautiful curve you'll get. That's awesome. And that's without even fussing. You know, nice. I always like to fuss with it a little bit, but super, super cool for doing those curves. So this is for doing uh, hems mm -hmm. um, and you can press on top of it do whatever measurements you would like. Two inch hem, one and a half, whatever you want. That's nice. All right. All right, so our last two devices are going to be seam gauges. And so the first seam gauge is for quilters. So one of the problems that most quilters have is when a pattern asks for a scant quarter. So a scant quarter, you know, not a full quarter of an inch, but scant quarter is such a, a interpretive type thing. <laughs> so what somebody has designed is, and this is called the Super Easy Company, is they have created a um, scant quarter guide. So there are two things. This is the plastic guide. This is going to help us position. And this is the actual seam gauge that's going to be on our hmm. machine. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do first is we're going to hand roll our needle down into our plate. Okay. We're then going to take, it'll, it gives you, it says needle with an arrow pointing to it. So you're going to slide the slot oh, so that the slot, the needle is just tucked right up into the top of that slot. Got we're it. then going to take and we're going to peel off our scant quarter. And the scant quarter guide is like, it's almost like a foam guide. So it has maybe about an eighth of an inch height yeah. to it. So we'll be able to press fabric up against it. And we're going to tuck that in. And we're going to line that up in the slot. Now, when you go to put this in, make sure that you don't, like the slot goes all the way back there because different machines are differently spaced. Um, but make certain that when you're doing your guide, that your guide is not covering your feed dogs. So make sure you've got that down and then you're going to just push that down. And then this piece is going to come away. At which point, you can then take your seam and you can run it right along the edge. So if we come in
Easier said than done. There you there go. There we go. <laughs> All right. So if we start stitching and we run our fabric right along the edge. That and mind, is clever. Mind you, I am not using a quarter inch foot here. I just yeah, have the just regular, regular foot on yeah. there. All right. At that point, now when we take a look at it, we have a scant quarter. And it's mathematical. We've used the guide to mm -hmm. place the place the adhesive and we have that permanently on there. Can you take it on and off? You can take it on and off and you can take it on and off and put it back down. Um, I'm going to say like maybe half a dozen times. Okay. But they give you a whole bunch of them in the package. There's oh, like five or six in it. the package as well. On well, there. that is nice. So, I have to have that at home. So super, super cool for doing your scant quarters. And I think I'll just leave that there for the moment. All right. Now our last device is used in conjunction with a magnetic seam gauge. So magnetic seam gauges are awesome. They have a, kind of a big magnet on the back. The little piece here is really supposed to be the handle to pull it on and off, but honestly, I just grabbed the whole thing. Um, there is no danger for using a magnetic seam gauge on a computerized machine. Mm -hmm. um, the s magnetic seam gauges were made way before seam, uh, the ma computerized machines and the companies have all compensated for it. And just by the by, it's also no danger if you have your magnetic pin cushion sitting next to your machine. Now, what's different about this is this is a uh, magnetic seam gauge um, guide. So you'll notice that there are holes in this plate here. So they go from an eighth of an inch, so it goes an eighth, a quarter, three eighths, a half, five eighths, three quarters, seven eighths, one inch, and then it'll go all the way down with those same one and an eighth, one and a quarter, etc., all the way down to a two inch. That's so let's say that we were doing a, a one inch uh, hem. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're going to hand turn our needle down into the one inch hole. At which point we can now take, so you put your little presser foot down. Okay, don't stitch. <laughs> I was just going to say that, but don't sew. All right. We can then position our guide so it's perfectly parallel and it's perfectly one inch along the edge. Great on there. And so at that point, we can take it, we can pick up our needle, pick up our foot. And now when we go to set our fabric in, we are going to be set at our one inch guide and we can then take off and go. That is very cool. So super, super, super cool doing that. All right. So those are some fabulous tools for measurement. Some are for physically measuring you, some are for physically measuring the fabric, some are uh, placed on your machine in order to get your uh, seam gauge correctly, and some of them are used with the iron. But all of them just take your uh, sewing skills and kind of notch them up a little bit, make them a little bit more professional. So I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you next time.